welcome back to the channel fulton speaking here guys we are back today for a brand new video now today we are talking about dcs which is one of the best flash simulator and the good thing is that it's for free so if you get it for free like me what you will have is just this plane right here which is very nice now this game is like people play it a lot and i said yeah why not if i make a video about the game for people who maybe don't know the game and it's not the first time i'm playing but uh i don't play it like uh, all the time so as we don't like to raid what we are going to do today is we are going to some training and we'll get started with the game now the first thing guys we go to settings and we see what we can do here this is by default and yeah i'm not willing to change anything here even in controls here key keys and all the stuff i'm not changing anything what i will do is that i will just go in the game and try to figure out what we do what and yeah everything here looks uh good to me i will just go back here now in this side here as you can see in your right you have the instant action create a fast mission mission campaign multiplayer and logbook all the stuff you'll be seeing here for training play mission editor for this video guys as i said we are going to uh training and try to see what the game is all about and uh this game is for free if you want to get one why not just go ahead and yeah get a copy of the game from steam for free and try it out all right so we are going to training here let me just click here and as you can see we are going for the first with the first mission i have even two planes all right we are going with the first mission which is the startup taxi and takeoff and we'll see what uh this game is all about all right if you are new make sure that you subscribe to the channel all right now let's just go ahead and do this all right all right we are in the game here guys for this uh first training as you can see uh we are going for the training lesson and uh, very nice now uh what i will do is that i will just press here apply welcome to the su-25t frogfoot the frogfoot also called the Cratch, is a very capable ground attack aircraft that can destroy most anything on the battlefield before we start blowing things up though let's first learn how to start up this bird and taxi to the runway all right the first thing I'll ask you to do is turn on the electrical power by pressing right shift and L. Right shift and L. With the electrical power now engaged, you can see that the heads up display, or HUD, comes to life as well as many instruments and cockpit lights. Before moving the aircraft, make sure that more than three minutes have elapsed in order to let the horizontal situation indicator gyro to align properly. Okay. Now that you have power, let's turn on the navigation lights by pressing right control and L. All right, control and L. Next, let's close the canopy by pressing left, control, and C. Left, control, and C. Our next step is to start our two engines. Before you do so, make sure your throttle controller has a zero power setting. Zero. Start the left engine by pressing right, alt, and home. Right, alt, and home. With the left engine started, press right, control, and home to start the right engine. Right control and home. Off the lower left corner of the TV display is the engine gauge with needles marked one and two for the two engines. When an engine is being started, one of the two green lights below the gauge will light. Once the light turns off, it indicates that the engine is ready for operation. In the lower left corner of the dash is an aircraft symbol that indicates the status of your flaps, landing gear, and air brake. Lower your flaps to the takeoff position by pressing left shift and F. We have the left shift and F. Nice. We're now ready to taxi. So slowly increase the throttles by moving your throttle control forward or pressing page up. To reduce throttle, use your throttle controller or press page down. To use the wheel brakes, press W. Start rolling forward and turn to the left of the taxiway ahead. Press Z to steer left and press X to steer right. Yeah, I can move now. Nice. Very good. All right.
Nice job, you're now heading in the right direction. Keep your taxi speed around 10 kilometers per hour as indicated in the top left corner of the HUD. Thank as you. you taxi, use small smooth rudder corrections to keep you aligned on the center of the taxiway. All right, got it guys, we are moving. Yeah, listen, this thing is not bad at all. It's very good. W, all right, for the break, nice. At the fork, hang a right to reach the runway. As we taxi, you can go to external view by pressing F2 and return to the cockpit by pressing F1. Well. You can zoom in and out using the keypad star and forward slash keys. Rotate the views using the keypad directional keys. We've now reached the runway threshold. Taxi on the runway to the right and align yourself down the length of it. Great, how you do it, man? I do it. Once aligned down the runway, increase thrust of both engines to maximum and use gentle inputs on the rudder, X and Z, to keep the tracking on the center line. Alright, let's keep going because you know the runway is still uh, a bit far from us. When your airspeed, as indicated in the top left corner of the HUD, indicates about 250 kilometers per hour, gently pull back on the controller and allow the aircraft to fly itself off the runway. Don't yank the controller back to force the aircraft into the air. Right hand corner of the HUD is your altitude in meters. Between the altitude and speed indications is your heading tape. With positive climb established, raise the landing gear by pressing G. In the center of the HUD is the pitch and roll indication. And along the right side of the HUD is your pitch ladder and vertical velocity indication. Go ahead and raise the flaps by pressing left control and F. This concludes this lesson of starting up the SC25T, taxiing, and taking off. You can enter the lesson now by pressing the escape key.